we'll guide you through how to fix notification problems and them not working on Android. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super annoying, so let's go and get in some fixes. Now, notifications may not be working in different ways. They may not be appearing at the top or on your lock screen. So I'll be covering different ways for different problems. So what we need to do is go and open up the settings app like so. In settings, you need to go down and find notifications and click there. Then you want to firstly go into app notifications. If you're finding notifications aren't working for certain apps, then here you can go and toggle them on and off. So for example, let's say I wasn't getting notifications from Chrome, then that's because it switched off here. So I can go and switch it on and I can go and click on it and then go and choose more specific settings here as well. For example, lock screen and pop up as well. So make sure you go and change these if it's for specific apps. Now, if you're finding that you aren't getting any notifications or you aren't getting notified for them, then make sure do not disturb is turned off. Do not disturb goes and silences all notifications. So what you can do is make sure it's switched off like so, then you should go and start getting notifications if you weren't. If you're finding that notifications are missing from the lock screen, click on lock screen notifications and make sure they're turned on like so. And you can also go and customize it down here as well. Go and see if any changes you've made here have then solved the problem. If you're still finding that notifications aren't working for a certain app, then go into the app because some apps have their own notification settings built in and you can then customize them within the app. So go and see if that solves the problem. If it still doesn't, then what's worth doing is then performing a full restart on your phone just to go and refresh everything. Sometimes it may just be a software glitch. So you can hold down the side power button like so, and you can then click on restart and restart again. And your phone will go and restart and that will hopefully solve the problem. If you found this useful, then leave a like.